Well, I know I'm a little late to the party, but I was watching this video a couple days ago and I was I was just like, I don't I don't understand. So here's here's the video. If I get corona, I get corona. At the end of the day, I'm not gonna let it stop me from partying. We're gonna enjoy ourselves. We having day parties all day. It's my birthday, St. Patrick's Day. We met these other people in our little Airbnb spot, so we're just hanging out with them and trying to get drunk before everything closes. We're just trying to roll with the boy. We're just living for the moment. We're just going for, we're just going to do what happens, when it happens. When stuff closes, we're going to do it when it closes, but uh, uh, besides that, we're just trying to have the best trip we can. We're just trying to make with what we have right now. Really messing I think they're blowing it way out of proportion. I think it's doing way too much. I just really have you no regard for anybody outside of yourself at all at all hopefully and I know that they've shut this down a little bit uh, and for those of us you know that are watching the statistics like I am I watch the statistics repeatedly throughout the day about how the increase is going and watching especially in the US it increasing substantially here in Canada we also are increasing isolate it's not about just you it's about those around you and it really just shows if you're a person that just, I don't know, cares about themselves and that's it. And now, especially that we're reading and hearing that age, sure, I get it, is one thing that it has probably a little bit more of a drastic effect on, but it, it's going after everybody. 20s, 30s, 40s that are getting sick, some that are passing away. And even if you get sick and don't pass away because of this or, or it's not fatal, it can have lasting effects. It's scar tissue inside your lungs, which means you'll never be able to breathe properly again. You'll have respiratory issues for the rest of your life. Was that, you know, it just, this doesn't make sense that you're willing to take a couple days of drunkenness and partying for a life full of misery or death. I don't get it. I don't get it. But what I do get, what I do get is what we're going to talk about right now. So I think, and I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think we're going to see iPad OS and iOS 13.4 drop sometime today, is my guess. I could be wrong, I don't know, but my guess is today. Tuesdays a lot of times is the day of magic. Because of that, I have my iPad here, and luckily for me, I was able to get the beta of it. The feature that everybody's talking about, and I was like, yeah, okay, I, I, I'm down. I wanna, I wanna check this out. Is that having trackpad support and mouse support? So my guess is mouse support, sure, but here's here's my old here's my old trackpad. This is a trackpad I've had when I bought one of my first iMacs forever ago. One of the first iMacs that came or had the ability to come with a trackpad. I don't use that machine very much anymore and this was kind of just gathering dust a little bit because I run mostly off laptops. So I brought it out, bought myself just a couple batteries, just a little bit, a couple batteries here. Don't think I need that many. And what we're gonna do is we're going to see how to connect this iPad. And this is an iPad Air because the other thing is that everybody's talking about the iPad Pro, but I wanted to make sure even on an iPad Air it works. This is an Air 3. so. My hope is any iPad that can support 13.4. Number one, we gotta crack this open. So I'm gonna just crack this open right now. I don't have a screwdriver, so it's like a wall hook. That's right, living the dreams, my friends, living the dreams. I don't know if it's a good dream or a bad dream, but I'm living it. All right, these are old batteries, these are coming out. If you have one of the new trackpads, you just charge it. But old trackpads, you had to put AA batteries in, so that's what I gotta do. I need a stack of batteries, so. Here's my stack of batteries. And these go in, plus side in, plus side in, plus side in. Definitely the bonus of the new one. You just kind of charge it and it's good. This one, batteries. Not that that's horrible, but. Okay, so here it is. We're gonna go into, as far as I know, we're gonna go into uh, Bluetooth here. And my hope is that we're just gonna turn this on and it's gonna start pairing. Okay, it's flashing. It has miscellaneous at the bottom. Apple wireless trackpad, click on that, pair it, is it there? Apple wireless trackpad connected, oh look at that, look at that, there it is, see it right there, hope you guys can see it, 
Now it's not like your traditional arrow, so it's not an arrow, it literally just looks kind of like your, well just like the tip of your finger that you'd use because this is still a touch screen, so it's still got that and you'll see how it disappears, that's kind of cool. How do you get rid of it? Maybe it pulled down? And I'm trying to figure out, alright so that's cool, so if I come to the very bottom you get this come up and it's neat because once you go over an icon, the mouse disappears and the icon goes bigger. So you'll see as you move across those icons, and you can see it there when I come across, there's that little right there, and then it disappears, disappears, disappears. Very cool. How do you get rid of this screen is the question, because there's gotta be a way to get it away. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump here. So if we're on this screen and I open, let's say I open mm, Safari, I click. All right, so I was looking at Ford site. So I'm here looking at Ford site. How do I how do I minimize it? Two clicks. What does two clicks do? Nothing. Three clicks. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Let's find out. Let's find out if we can figure it out. Because right off the bat, we do know if we bring that mouse all the way to the bottom, you are going to get, you'll see it here, your dock come up. And you got to kind of, you see this here. So you just kind of get it down there and it pops up, which is, which is cool. You got to push it right down. If you go up to the top right hand corner, and it's, you, you kind of see, you have to float it where your battery percentage and your Wi-Fi and all that is. And you go up there and you click, you get your control panel. Also very cool. If you come up to the top left where your time is and you click, you'll get your notification center, which is cool. So that's very much like if you were to pull up or pull, pull down from this side or pull down from this side, you just kind of bring your mouse up there. But the key is, is once you're here, how do you get out of it? Oh, I see. Well, that one's easy. You just kind of get to the bottom and you push. Oh, I think I got it. If you come down to the very bottom and you push down, you'll see one finger just kind of slide down. It gets rid of it. So if I came up here and brought up again Safari, and I was here, and I go to the very bottom, and I just keep pushing. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. Nice and simple. Open it up. Get your mouse here, right to the bottom. And just pull down. Gone. Sweet. Pull down with two fingers. Oh, two fingers brings up. Your task manager screen, maybe, I don't know, maybe you can't get rid of these from here. You can click on them, which is cool. And again, down here, slide. I like that, that's handy. All right, so we just paused this video and I'm back now. And in the video, they actually talk about a couple things in regards to the new trackpad. And a lot of them are three finger gestures. So you'll talk about here, for instance, three fingers up and you'll notice with the old, maybe it's because it's the old trackpad that they didn't have gestures for three fingers. Because of that, it's supposed to be, and I'll let you kind of see this here, it's it's three fingers up. I'll let you just take a look at this video real quick here. iPadOS also supports convenient three finger gestures. So you can just swipe up to go home, or swipe across to effortlessly switch between applications, or even swipe up and hold to enter multitasking. So you'll see a lot of three finger gestures, which I don't have. So again, you know, down here with a single, I have to just continually pull down to get that screen, which isn't a big deal. It allows me to come here. And again, it talks about pushing up, which I don't have, but I do have that ability to come to the bottom again when it's just to continue pulling down. And that seems to work. So it does look like there's depending. So watch the video and I'll put a link to the Apple one down here if you guys have one of the newer trackpads that allow you to do that. But with the older trackpad, which is what I have, it seems to be doing a lot with just single fingers. Now, the other thing to realize is if we go into a program, let's say like notes, so here's notes, and I'm in a note. So let's let's do something like this one. You'll see that the cursor changes to something that you can click and drag over right to highlight which is which is actually really nice so you can kind of just kind of go through here and highlight the sections that you want and kind of move your move your cursor around that that works now once it's highlighted I can click that and move that whole section around you just kind of have to highlight and you'll see the cursor behind it moving around with it kind of letting you know where it's going to drop it so I'm going to put it back at the top back it goes being able to move like that super handy now the other one of course is let's say we had two applications up so I'll bring I'll bring Safari back up just bring here and I'll bring up mail for instance and slide that over so it did say on on the old trackpad that you can push to the side which you can and bring that up as well and 
I think they said three fingers would be able to shift between them, and I don't seem to necessarily have that ability. By sliding the cursor to the side of the screen and multitask with ease. So again, it may be either something that's a little tricky in regards to you know, using this, because I think maybe the old trackpad, which is what I have, reacts a little bit more like a mouse. So I would say a lot of this stuff you and I could do with a mouse, but with the new trackpad, we'll have a lot more features. Is that a deal breaker? Is it gonna make me wanna go out and buy a new trackpad? No. Is this cool? Yeah, for sure. I, I could see myself definitely using this, especially for like the, the click and drag and highlighting stuff. I think that's awesome. And once you kind of get used to it, you know, you can just kind of slag this stuff. And again, you just push off to the side to get it once, pull it away, get it up, put it away. Come down here, get rid of it. Yeah, get rid of it. Not as fluid as what they're saying it is on the new trackpad, of course. And it could be, I don't even say brand new, but if you had the trackpad that doesn't take double A batteries, you probably have a lot of those features that I don't. Still cool, still very cool. All right, my friends, I'm gonna leave you there. I wanted to get this video up uh, today because this was coming out. And for those of us that have the old trackpad and something like an iPad Air, not the Pro, uh, it can be really cool to see that we still can do some stuff. Yeah, do some stuff. So I think we should be able to. All right, my friends, I'm gonna leave you there. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And uh, we will see you guys in the next video coming up tomorrow. Be safe, my friends. Later.